Hi guys, in today's video I will show you 3 easy car effects you can do in After Effects for your next Instagram Reels. Let's begin with Logo Flip Effect. Duplicate your clip and rename it to Clean. Cut clean layer from where you want Logo Flip Effect to start, and also cut the ending of the effect. Now we have to remove the logo from the car, to remove it we should mask it at first. To mask the logo I will use Mocha AE. If you don't have Mocha, you can use After Effects masking tools or Roto Brush tool. But, Mocha is free, check this video's description to download it. In Mocha AE, grab a pen tool and mask the car logo. Then click on tracking button to track the mask. Once the tracking is done, click on save button and close Mocha AE. Under the Mocha, expand matte and click on create AE masks. Now select your bottom clip and toggle it off. Select clean layer, press M to open mask and change mask mode to subtract. Now make sure to trim work area, match it to clean layer's length. Now we are ready to remove car logo. Go to content aware fill window, copy my settings and click on generate fill layer. Wait until analyzing is done. Once it's finished, bring back work area to its normal length. Once we have a clean car footage with no logo on it, we can begin making an animation. Toggle back on the bottom layer. Duplicate clean layer and move it above fill layer, I will rename it to logo flip. Under the mocha, expand matte and toggle on apply matte. Nice, now we have logo only layer and we can animate it as we want. First of all, make sure logo flip layer is selected, then go to anchor point tool and double click on it. Move anchor point to the center of the logo. Now press P on your keyboard to open position and enable 3D on logo layer. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the logo flip layer and then click on position, orientation, and rotation stopwatch icons. Now go to the end of the logo flip layer and create the same keyframes there as well. From the beginning, go a few frames forward and let's scale the logo a bit. Also change position of the logo on your wish. Once you are happy with scale and position of the logo, add rotation on it, I will set Y rotation to 1, the logo will rotate 1 time. If you set it to 3 for example, logo will rotate 3 times. Now go near to the end of logo layer, then copy second keyframes and paste them there. Let's quick check the animation. That's already cool, now we have to smooth the logo flip animation, select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor. Right click here and select, edit speed graph, make a smooth curve, you can copy mine. I like it but I think my logo animation is too long, let's check it again. To make animation a bit faster, select all keyframes, now hold alt button and move the keyframes from the end backward a bit. Let's check the animation again. That's way better to me. Now let's add some more effects to the logo to make it look even better. I will add saber effect on my logo. Check this video's description to download saber plugin for free. Add saber on logo flip layer. Under the saber effect expand render settings. Change composite settings to add. Expand customize core. Change core type to layer masks. From presets you can choose any preset you will enjoy. I will stay on Energize. Play around with glow and core settings and once you are happy let's animate the saber with logo animation. Go to very beginning of logo layer and click on end offset stopwatch icon. Set end offset to 0%. Now go forward where the logo is scaled like this and change end offset to 100%. Now go to the moment where the logo begins going back again, stop there and click on start offset stopwatch icon. Then go to the moment where the logo is back on the car and change start offset to 100%. Let's check the animation. Nice, everything looks cool to me. Lastly we can add shake effect, I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. And now let's jump to another effect, meteor strike effect. First what we are going to do is, go to tracker and click on track camera. Under 3D camera tracker expand advanced and toggle on detailed analysis. Once analyzing is done, scroll the video to find cool 3D points. I will select these one on the trees, right click and select, create solid and camera. Toggle off track solid and let's bring meteor strike footage to AE timeline. I will leave a link in description where you can download thousands of video effects for free and paid. 
The meteor footage is too long and slow, I will speed up the footage a bit. Right click on meteor layer, go to time and select, time stretch. In my case I will set to 60. That's way better. Now link meteor layer to track solid and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard and scale it until it looks cool to you. Then change X, Y and Z rotations, also position it. Now let's check it. In my case it seems a bit slow again, I will speed it up, let's change stretch factor to 40. Now it's better. Let's adjust the position a bit more, I want Meteor to hit right behind my car. That's way better to me. Let's bring explosion green screen footage now. Add keel eyed effect on explosion layer. Click on eyedropper tool and select the green screen to remove it. Link explosion layer to track solid and enable 3D on it too. Press S and scale the explosion. Also change X, Y and Z rotations and position it where the meteor hits, so after the meteor hit there will be an explosion. Let's correct the timing of two layers. Move explosion layer all the way right and check the meteor layer, stop at the moment where meteor hit the ground, then move explosion layer right at that moment. Play around with X, Y and Z rotations again and position it right at the time where Meteor hits. Let's check it. That look fine to me. Now let's make Meteor and Explosion effects behind the car. Duplicate your very bottom clip, move it above other layers, delete 3D tracker on it, and rename it to car only. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible to isolate it from a background. Once you have finished selecting the car, set the feather to 8 and then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Let's check it. Explosion is behind and I'm happy with the edge of the car, everything looks fine to me. Lastly add shakes here as well, that's what it looks like with my shakes. Now let's make another effect called glitched background. To create this effect you will need a glitchify plugin, it's paid plugin by Cinema Spice. But, if you will like this video, subscribe to AM Film and write me on Instagram with a magic words like this, I want glitchify, I will gift that plugin to you for free. So, like this video, subscribe to AM Film and follow me on Instagram to get glitchify for free. Once you have got glitchify from me we can begin making the effect. First of all duplicate your clip and rename it to whatever you want, I will name it to effect. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on effect layer. Roto brush only the car and foreground and try to make selection as smooth as possible. Once you are done selecting, press space bar on your keyboard to check if the selection is following the car perfectly. If it needs to be fixed, stop at that moment correct the selection and press space again to check the video. And once you are happy with the selection, change feather to 10 to smooth the edges and then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Select bottom clip and add glitchify plugin on it. Under the glitchify, expand channel glitch, color glitch and image glitch. Toggle off image glitch. Toggle off color glitch as well. Expand channel scale and channel split. Toggle on vertical and change offset and speed multiplier values to zero. Now play around with scale until it looks cool to you. And bring down horizontal value to zero. Now expand advanced and expand channel scale. Toggle on fill gaps here. The glitched background effect is ready. Hope this three effects were helpful. Like this video, subscribe to AM Film and write me on Instagram to get glitchify for free.